Well, morning all. Well, welcome back to the channel. Well, we're at the Overland Show in Bad Kissingen in Germany, and honestly, there is every configuration of Overland truck you could imagine. Stick with us. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so you have to get the bus here, but the bus service is really good. There's one every few minutes. Uh, it's all part of the ticket price. It takes about 15 minutes, uh, and then you've just got to queue for you a little bit, but it's pretty well organized, so uh, I don't think it's going to take too long to get into the show. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Good bus. Okay. The moment you come through the gates at the Aventura and Allrad, you know you're in the right place. Vans, trucks, and all things 4 before are vying for your attention. You can't fail to be impressed by the big rigs and equally big price hikes. Right, we just look, have a look around the Blissmobile, which I really like it as a brand. We've just had a look inside one. We're just about to go into another one. <laughs> so let's go and explore. <laughs> yeah, you like it? I prefer this. Is this you? Yeah. Oh, okay. This let's get the checkbook out. Yeah. Yeah, I'd put my much prefer this. I like okay. the, the fact the bedroom feels a bit more private and there's just a bit more space here. This, this is a similar to the layout that we have at the moment. Yeah, that's nice. This is over a meter longer as well. Yes. That helps as well, obviously. Yeah. Not just longer, but it's wider and yes. it's higher. Yeah. If, like me, you love all things Unimog, then there's plenty of options. Double cab, single cabs, lightweight, heavy duty, it's all here. I'm not sure about that one, it looks like it belongs in a primary school. <laughs> and if you fancy a taste of the off-road, you can even take one for a drive. There's food on throughout the day, there's plenty of options and somewhere to sit. Delicious. So we're halfway through the afternoon and quite honestly, if you don't find what you're looking for here, you're not going to find it anywhere because the volume and the selection of what's on offer here is just incredible. From the smallest 4x4s with roof tents, vans, right up to you know, the, the medium size, the Unimogs, now that goes right up to the, the really big stuff, you know, the 6x6s six six and the 8x8s uh, and everything in between. And the, the array of accessories, uh, it, it, it's just, it, it's almost overwhelming. And to say I'm in my element is an understatement. I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, and every sort of bend in every corner, every stand, there's, there's just something else. So uh, if, you're, if you're thinking about coming here, if you need some inspiration, this is definitely the place to come. Okay, so we're just having a little bit of shelter right now because we have a little thunderstorm, a little bit of rain. Yep, that was some crazy rain. So if your thing is trailers and utility vehicles, then definitely come here. There's just the biggest selection. Uh, lots focused on that sort of off-road element. Uh, lots of storage for quads, for bikes, scooters, bicycles, you name it. Uh, trucks, every configuration, it's here. And there's a huge selection of off-road oriented caravans with raised suspension, some with roof tents, awnings, pull-out kitchens, clever space-saving ideas and innovative design. So as you'd expect, there's lots and lots of van conversion companies here. Um, a lot of sprinters, a lot of crafters, um, because it's obviously geared towards that sort of four before element. And you've got lots and lots of this sort of thing here, you know, the Toyota Trippies. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really interesting. There's obviously more and more stuff, uh, more and more coming onto the market uh, every year 
and the show seems to be getting bigger. We just booked a lot of people this morning. They said, yeah, it's just getting bigger year on year, more on offer. Yeah, lots of Volkswagen four motions. You can just see there's just every color roof style there is. Ah, we got some friends. I can't believe it. Hello. I switched the camera off. Eva, Renetta, hello. I can't believe it. Hold on. I hope if we can uh, meet the Tirana, then we can also meet here. <laughs> We met these guys, I can't believe it. In fact, you're in one of our videos. <laughs> Two of our videos. Uh -huh. uh, Georgia and Armenia. Anyway, I'll switch off, hold okay. on. Oh, well, that was a lot of fun. It was a really lovely catch up. We met those people. Um, Uwe and Renette are the names are. German couple in a truck last year. They owned the, um, the yellow truck. Uh, if you've seen our videos, when we first went into Armenia last year and then we kept meeting each other. Uh, so yeah, a lot of fun, really good catch up and actually they're in the middle of a, um, a truck build, another truck build right now. So uh, anyway, more to see. If the big Mercedes rigs aren't your thing, the 4x4 Sprinter offer is huge. It doesn't come cheap though, for a Finnish fan expect to pay 150 to 250 thousand euros. We particularly like this extra long wheelbase from Torex with a toilet and shower beside the bed and was beautifully finished by in excess of 200,000 euros. The options list on both the base vehicle and conversion is endless. Land Rover, as you'd expect, had a huge presence from driving experiences on a pretty easy off-road course to many converters offering bespoke fit-outs and endless accessories. It's five o'clock in the evening, the rain's back on, my feet are killing me. I think that's me for the day. What do you think? I like how it looks, but they're quite small, aren't they? I like these, but they're just so expensive. Yeah. If you're restricted to 7.5 tons on your license, or you just want to keep it relatively light, and you want something different from the Iveco Daily or Unimog, there's always the Mitsubishi Fuso 4x4. Beautifully put together, but yeah, it's not very big. No, it's we explore some of the smaller vehicles on offer, but just because they're small doesn't mean they're cheap. There's a number of Mercedes G wagons on offer here at the show and expect to pay well over 100,000 euros and up to 200,000 euros. What do you think? Well, I can sort of see that there's no, there's no shower or toilet in here. So, for all this seating, I would have, yeah, but there's no shower. Right, I think I've found our truck. <laughs> is he? I think Izzy's actually in agreement, which is, which is a good thing, all right? There is. Mercedes Z Plus, this mobile. Oh, it's just a beautiful thing. So we're just sitting having a slice of cake and a cup of coffee because it's exhausting work walking around here. It is. It, it is actually quite tiring. Um, and having done sort of all day yesterday, I mean, honestly, from morning to night, uh, yeah, we're pretty sort of whacked. Uh, so it's a bit slow today and we're just sort of going back to some of the stands and really enjoying uh, getting a bit more into it actually in terms of the detail and what we like and you know what, what we sort of think we want. So 
Uh, it's, it's been an interesting day. It's been, you think you know what you really like and what you want and then you see something else and you're like, uh -huh. ah, how many times have we done that? I like them all, that's the problem. Yeah, I don't like the price of them. No. I would love to be able to say, show you a truck and say, yeah, it costs 400,000, 500,000, 200,000, whatever. But when you when you ask for a price, it's really really difficult because especially all the big stuff, they don't like to give you a price because they're so bespoke. There's almost like a starting price, and then it's a case of if you provide your own vehicle, then the box costs this, but then we need to buy the subframe, and that's more, and, and everything's they have so more. Many options, don't they? It depends on you know what, what option you want for the shower, what you want for the toilet, what you want for the hospital. Yeah, you 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 almost need to sort of everything's very ballpark so you know we've asked a number of times you know how much is it and on the spec sheet outside there's no price there's there's just so many variables and that sort of variation price is is sometimes quite huge because you might want a bike rack or you know you you want something very specific but so, i think it's fair to say phil just mentioned about something costing two hundred thousand. there isn't anything here that costs two hundred thousand. there might be a roof tent uh, but there's certainly nothing with an engine yeah that costs less than two hundred thousand. yeah um, someone said to me can you just check out see what you get for one hundred thousand 200,000, 300,000, 400,000. Honestly, 100,000, yeah, you'll get a tent and you'll get, you won't get a van. Uh, but it's been so worth it in terms of looking at ideas and yeah. um, layouts and what we like and what we don't like and what's important and what's not important. Uh, yeah. But we'll share more about that with you in another video at a later date, I think. Yeah. Right, back in the truck, end of day two. We're absolutely exhausted, uh, but a really good day. Uh, Izzy's here, sat beside me. How was it, Iz? It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Lots of food for thought. A um, little bit overwhelming, because there's so much. You step into one and you think, oh, I love this, it's amazing. And then you step into the next one, oh, I love this even more. And, and you end up with sort of five or six that you think are great, so. What was really interesting today, we tried to drill into the, the numbers a little bit, trying to, so looking at the bigger trucks, trying to understand the costs involved, the sizes, you know, from the sort of 10 tons to the sort of 26 tons really is where you're at. Um, and honestly, it's probably in the region of 400,000 maybe, up to whatever you want to spend. I mean, certainly well, in excess of mm -hmm. a million euros. Um, and sometimes some of the figures you're talking about, maybe four, you know, certainly 380,000 without the base vehicle, which is a bit of a shocker. So yeah, it's uh, it's been an eye opener. Yeah, um, And what's really sort of surprising about it is when you ask about the lead times, some of the companies are, are saying, yeah, 18 months, end of 2026. You know, it's really sort of, you, you think, wow, clearly there is a demand for this, these items. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, I don't think they've got any shortage of customers who've got that sort of money. It no. just, yeah. And and when they're banding these numbers about, it's almost like it's it, normal. It's just like saying twenty quid, or yeah. you know, it's oh uh, yeah, it's probably about you know the the bike lifts maybe about I don't know thirty thousand euros or. I had to hold my tongue a few times today. There was a couple of times I wanted to say how much, <laughs> but I managed not to. Yeah. So yeah, it was a good day. So uh, lots of food for thought, that's yeah. for sure. Anyway, we've got a cup of tea on the go, so let's get that drink. Absolutely. Right, we're on walkabouts. Right for a little dander around the area where we're parking. It's just a gorgeous evening here. Everyone's got a beer on the go. Or a flamingo. A little bit of... What's the flamingo? What's the flamingo for? Nico. <laughs> <laughs> <Why> Mascot. <not? laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's having a little bite to eat, just have a little chill at the end of the day, which is quite nice. It's got a really lovely vibe about the place. Uh, it's just really interesting just having a look at all the different rigs. I mean, I think that's what I love about all this. It's just, everything's so different. Light me up, don't you stop, cause tonight, it's on the line. Show me how you get on down. Close my eyes, take me for a ride. Well, it is the most gorgeous evening here in Bad Kissingen. 
and the place is just coming alive. And we got people with fires going, the beers flowing, people just sitting out, just having a really good time. And look at that sky. Well, morning, Sunday morning, day four of the show, sun is shining. Here we are once again. So I'm really, really keen to try and sort of show the prices of you know, the trucks and the equipment and everything else. And all the big stuff especially, generally, it doesn't have a price. Although it has a spec sheet and it's got a QR code, there's no signal here whatsoever at the showground. So everyone's in the same boat. You can see people holding a phone up, trying to take a photograph or you know scan the QR code to get the information. And there's no signal, which is a bit crazy really, but that's the way it is. So if your thing is Land Rovers, Troopies, uh, basically a 4x4 with, and you like the pull-out thing there's so many options here as well with you know the big sliders with the fridges uh, the workstations and it's it really is sort of endless and there's no way I can showcase all of this but just to give you an idea and there's lots of little trailers really really innovative stuff uh, and you can see a lot of them have the little roof tents as well just pop up Two people, ideal really. There's so much on offer here. I suppose they're really affordable. I say that, but some of them are in the region of sort of 20, 30, 40, 50,000 euros. So it's still an awful lot of money for a small box on wheels. €42,000. Oh, sorry, how much? €42,000. Okay. Although some of the caravans seem eye-wateringly expensive, you have to applaud their innovation and with the option to bolt on more accessories than any one person ever needs. So there's a box here for 129,000 euros. So we're just going to have a look in because we're intrigued to see what you actually get for that amount of money. It's actually it's quite spacious. It's not a huge bed. Yeah. That's nice. I, I like that, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the finish on the roof. It's a classical shape for two persons. Yeah. On, I just can't speak in meters. <laughs> it's 4 meter 50 in the length. Yeah. Well, I think it's done. It's nicely finished. Actually, yeah. yeah. Good big size window. Yeah. So, this would be. Depends on the customer wish because some of them want to cook electric, some of them yes. want to cook with gas. Yeah. So but this would be your cooking and yeah, this would be your sink, sink here. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And what's the mounting system on it? Uh, How does it mount to the truck? No, it's, just, it's a trailer. Oh, it's a trailer. No, 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 it's not a trailer. It's not a trailer? The trailer is just for transportation. Ah, oh, okay. okay. It's a box. Yeah, 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 it's a box. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, with a subframe. Yeah. yeah. And the subframe can mount to? Usually the size is for a uh, Steyr 12 and 18 yeah. or something like that. Okay, okay yeah. 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 We know that. Yeah. It's yeah. mounted with twist locks, so means that the cabin could be detached from the vehicle. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think a lot more people are building them like that so that you can take it with you if you change yeah. vehicles. Sometimes it's law reasons, regulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. interesting. Can I look in the bathroom? Yeah, there's nothing in there. But oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Again, down to the customer. Spaces. Yeah. Yeah, right. If they want a separate yeah. toilet or a flush toilet. That's a good size bathroom, though. It is. And so the price, the. Is that the show price, the 129? Yeah, 150, you can say, and then you're done. Okay. 150, that. Okay. Yeah. So that 129 doesn't include the 
as it as you see it here for one two nine. One two nine, okay. <laughs> So we've got some fabulous vehicles yet again, um, and we've got this big 6x6 Mercedes here on an Arox 1.1 million. So let's have a look and see what 1.1 million euros get you. Uh, so when uh, 8 meter 20 mm. tank, the uh, fresh water tank, 920 mm. under the seat. Wow. 920 Everything falls yes, out. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> this is much better. Yeah. Sorry, next door. Okay. No, we don't finish. The dishwasher. Ah, dishwasher, okay. Where's the dishwasher? Dishwasher? On the left. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for clothes. Yeah, then yeah, yeah. Here's a, a microwelle. Um, uh, Co combi? Yes, no, like it's a, a combi. Yes. Yes, yes. Ah. And this one, this. Oh, I want this one. Probably 8 meter 20, oh. I'd say. Um, yes. Wow. On your left side is the wash machine, 8, uh, 8 kilos includes the dryer. And is this air conditioning in here? Yes. In the, in the back here, on the bathroom, and here in front of the, uh, the seat. Wow. So, uh, I said the, 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 the man's uh, living uh, after a few years um, uh, paper and yes. now looking TV. <laughs> 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 uh, it's uh, yeah, 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 and a washing machine. A washing machine. A ah, full size as well. Oh, Eight no. kilo. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's maybe enough. Here, Please. let's sit. Here on top, ah, uh, and the table you can put on. So more seating for yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's lovely. Yeah, I really like it. And how much does this cost? One, uh, one point one. I think we'll have one each. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, does somebody own this? Is it is it being used at the uh, moment? No, no, you can buy it. It's, uh, okay, it's for sale. I do have one observation. Yes. I, I love it. Yes. But it's a big truck for two people. Yes. Yeah. You're living only. If you have friends <laughs> round, yeah. And there's no table here over over yeah, by the lounge. Yeah, more men. Okay. More men. Oh, hold on. Okay. Sure. Ah, I have a table. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. I like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Watch your television. Yes. yes, and you can put it to the um, cross yes. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. very nice. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> so. Well, thank you for so showing us. Yeah, you're welcome. That's yeah. way too expensive for us, but yeah. It but gives yeah, you an I idea. only ideas, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you're looking for a bespoke service in terms of design for your truck, all right, we've stumbled upon Thomas, who is an engineer. He's actually British. So this is his company, Fab Hubs. That was brilliant. So we've just spent about uh, 30 minutes actually chatting with, with Tom. Um, so have a look at the website. This is it, Tom? Yep, fabhubs.com. Okay, brilliant. Yes. Awesome. So if you want a bit of fun whilst you're here, you can actually take one of their trucks around their off-road circuit. 15 euros for once round. As you can imagine, the show isn't just about incredible vehicles, it celebrates and showcases all things all rad, including many great accessories. Whether it's winches, tool bins and lockers of various shapes, aluminium framework in every size, 
to steps, water filtration and air compressors to gas burners, lighting of every description and well, just stuff, stuff to pull you out of a hole including your choice of rims and tyres and believe me when I say it's all here. Guys, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the show and I hope you enjoyed this show and of course we'll see you next time round. Bye for now. Join us next time as I spend day three not at the show but exploring the various campgrounds, the thousands of overland rigs and tell you everything you need to know when planning your trip to the Aventure and Allrad. Well, finally, finally, before I go, I just want to say a huge thank you to all the lovely people that we've met this weekend. It's been so much fun. We've had dinner, we've had drinks, we've had a beer over a campfire, and we've met really, really lovely and interesting people. We've exchanged travel stories, and it's been a lot of fun. And, and there's been a lot of positive feedback for the channel, and that helps me enormously when I've got to sit down and go through the, you know, do that video edit piece. Uh, it, it just helps so guys thank you so much for the support for the channel and if you ever see us on the road give us a shout we've always got a cup of tea or a glass of red on the go and it'll be great to meet you take care bye for now